Hi y'all, my name is Melody and thanks for stopping by. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning visitor, welcome again. Um, I appreciate everyone who joins me and listens to me talk about books and random things. So if you want to subscribe, I would be so happy you did. Um, just click the subscribe button, share with a friend. You might find something or a book that you want to read or um, something I say that hopefully maybe touches you or inspires you in some sort of way. That's the reason for my channels. That's I hope everybody is here to learn and to grow with me. Okay, so today's book is a, a today's book, today's video is a book review. Um, it is called, it, the book is called Forget Her Name and it's by Jane Holland. Um, let me just see, I don't know when it was published. Oh wait, the 2018. I'm going to read the synopsis then... As always, I will go into my thoughts, um, what I wrote down for my synopsis, and what I rated the book. Okay, Rachel is dead, and she's never coming back, or is she? As she prepares her wedding to Dominic, Catherine has never been happier or more excited about her future. But when she receives an anonymous package, a familiar snow globe with a gris very grisly addition, that happiness is abruptly threatened by secrets from her past. Her older sister Rachel died on a skiing holiday as a child, but Rachel was no angel. Angel, she was vicious and highly disturbed, and she made Catherine's life a misery. Catherine had spent years trying to forget her dead sister's cruel tricks. Now someone has sent her Rachel's snow globe, the first in a series of ominous messages. While Catherine struggles to focus on her new life with Dominic, someone out there seems intent on tormenting her, but who? And why now? She doesn't have the answers, and in one final question lies her greatest fear. Is Rachel still alive? Okay. So, let me just go on here. Goodreads is sitting at a 3.85 on this. So, here's what I wrote as my synopsis. Catherine's sister Rachel is dead, and Catherine is getting married. Catherine is a woman who was raised in life in a life of wealth and privilege in London and now works as a, at a food bank as a volunteer. She's marrying Dominic, a nurse at the local hospital. However, coming up to the wedding, mysterious things start to occur, such as receipt, her sister's snow globe and her wedding dress being ruined. Her parents begin to think that she's losing it. The more she tries to unravel the mystery, the more everyone, including her now husband, Dominic, thinks she is crazy. This was a, a decent read, which intrigued me, but what I do think um, is what was meant to be the big twist of the book. I saw it coming from a mile away, but there was some other surprises that weren't, weren't so obvious. The ending wasn't the best. I didn't care for Catherine or her family as characters. I wasn't, I could care less about them. It, however, did have an interesting plot concept. I also didn't care for the use of mental health as a plot device. Um, in so much that it colored my opinions on the actual book. It was not used in a sympathetic manner in a way which was dealt with, in the way it was dealt with by the author. Also, the ending seemed a bit lazy, such as with, uh, with a poor resolution, which again did not deal with the concept that the author introduced. Had the condition and the treatments for said condition had been researched and handled better, I would have given this book a higher score. But because the way I felt uh, I ended up feeling about this book and the way that I felt that mental health illness and mental illness was treated in this book, I could not give it higher than a 2.5. It wasn't the worst. It could be much better, ha better handled, um, but I would not read it again. Um, I'm just giving you that sort of synopsis of this. Um, if you do want to read it, um, I believe it was free on Kindle. Um, yeah, this is not, this book, was not for me at all. I didn't care for the characters. I didn't care for the subject matter. I didn't care for the way that the subject matter was dealt with personally as somebody with uh, mental health um, issues, I guess, or disabilities or whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't care for the way that it was treated. It wasn't treated in a sympathetic manner. Um, the treatments and things weren't discussed as appropriate yet appropriately um and everything was just not nice to be honest with you anyway so in my perfect um, my imperfect view i would say give this book a miss it wasn't good i didn't like it um i don't know if i'd ever pick up another book by her again unless um it was much better 
okay um anyway that's it that's me i am finished with this book and i will never speak of it again uh thank you so much for watching stay safe stay positive i love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye